Okay, well, this week was a wonderful week. Any reason why? Pakya! Woo! I am a Filipino. For those of you who are, come and sing with me. I am a Filipino. Wow, it doesn't sound beautiful. Woo! <laughs> well, let me uh, put uh, one little picture there of Dr. is giving a boom, one big blow. You know, it, there's no other time in history where a Filipino can be really proud of being a Filipino. Especially in the arena of boxing, of course. It's just like, like mm, so good, so good. As a matter of fact, I was scanning to the internet and just kind of look at pictures of Filipinos who are proud to be Filipinos. And this is one of them. Cool. I'm a Filipino. Yeah. And it's a picture of Pacquiao right there. As a matter of fact, I feel exactly the same as he does right now. I say, man, cool. <laughs> cool. Man. I, 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 isn't it nice to be a Filipino? Wow. So, John, I'm sorry. You're, you're a lone Irish man here. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, being proud, well, next slide, is it, really a thin line of being proud and saying, you know what, I am who I am, a Filipino. And, and, and the border is to be boastful. It, it's really a fine line, very fine line. You know, when Pacquiao hits that other guy, say, like, ooh, yeah, bravo, Filipino. But it's, it's very thin that you, sometimes you don't even know you have crossed the border where you're no longer just being proud, but being boastful. You see, what is true in the physical realm is very true in the spiritual realm. The last five chapters in the book of Galatians, the Apostle Paul was kind of pounding, you know, uh, pound for pound uh, with the Galatians. He was hitting them left, right, and right hook, and I mean, all the punches was being given to, uh, to the Galatians. He said, how dare you start to believe another gospel? Boom! How can you say that you are saved by circumcision? Boom! I mean, he was just boxing them and punching them left and right. But suddenly, after five chapters, on the sixth round, Paul Schiff, from looking at the Galatians who were adding law, and circumcision to their faith. And now he was looking to the Galatians who were believing in Christ by faith alone. But there's a problem. Because they believe in faith alone in Jesus, now they become boastful. They're saying, you know what? I'm not like those other Galatians who try to circumcise themselves. I'm not like those other Galatians who try to add law to the faith. I am a pure Faith alone. Hmm. That's chapter 6. So this morning we're going to talk about who the real reconciled people of God are and how should they be really uh, uh, living their life as a believer, as a child of God, as a person who's justified by God, as a person who once upon a time was a child of the devil and now a child of God. How should we be doing, and how should we be uh, uh, acting and responding to circumstances? If you turn your Bible with me, please, in chapter 6. As a matter of fact, we'll, we'll begin with the last verse of chapter 5. We'll be reading chapter 5, verse 26, to chapter 6, verse 5. Verse 26 begins. Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. Brothers, if someone is caught in a sin, you who are spiritual should restore him gently. But watch yourself, or you also may be tempted. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. If anyone thinks he is something. When he is nothing, he deceives himself. 
Each one should test his own actions. Then he can take pride in himself without comparing himself to somebody else. For each one should carry his own load. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, indeed we are so grateful and thankful for the salvation that you have given us. Salvation, Lord, that nothing we have done or can do to attain your love, to attain the relationship that we do have right now. It's all by grace. As Ephesians have said, all by grace, not by work, so that no one can boast. So Lord, may it be that uh, as you shift gear, as the Apostle Paul shifts gear in chapter 6 of the book of Galatians, may you speak to each one of us, Lord, those who are proud to be Christians, those who are proud that we have Jesus as our Lord, We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name.